वेलकम टू क्लास फाइव एन सी आर टी मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर ट्वेल्व स्मार्ट चार्ट पार्ट टू हॉट एंड कोल्ड पेज नंबर वन सिक्सटी फाइव हैव यू सीन द वेदर रिपोर्ट ऑन टीवी और इन ए न्यूज पेपर दीज आर टू बार चार्ट दीज शो द हाइएस्ट टेम्परेचर इन डिग्री सेल्सियस इन फोर सिटीज ऑन टू डिफरेंट डेज द सिटीज आर Delhi, Shimla, Bangalore, and Jaisalmer. So, children, have you seen the weather report in TV and newspaper? Yes. In TV also, we'll see the weather report that whether it's hot today, how much is the temperature, and we see it in the newspaper also. And in your school assemblies also, after saying your uh, news, you will say the temperature. So, no. So, for you now, two reports are given. One is on first June and one is on first December. And different temperatures recorded in different four places have been recorded here. So, first, for first question, have you seen the weather report? What you will write? Yes, have seen the weather report on TV or in a newspaper. Now, find out from the bar chart. Few questions are given for you from this bar chart, and let's see what are the questions. Which city is hottest on first June? So, for that, first we'll take both the tables, and now they are asking which city is hottest on first June. So, which is first June? This is first June. So, which city is hottest on first June means for which the temperature is more? It is hottest. For which the temperature more? The temperature is more in Jaisalmer. So, which city is hottest? Jaisalmer is hottest on first June. Now, next one. Which city is Coldest on first December. Coldest means what happens? The degree Celsius degrees will reduce. So which is having the less one? Ten degrees, and it is in Shimla. So Shimla is coldest on first December. Which city shows little change in temperature on the two days? That is first June and first December. Comparing these both, which shows the less change, little change. So to find the change, what we have to do? If we subtract the temperatures which we got of the same city of different dates, then of different uh, sorry different dates which are given, then we will get it. So first 33. First we'll go for Delhi. 33 minus 23. That is 10 degrees Celsius. Next Shimla 22 minus 10. That is 12 degrees Celsius. Next Bangalore 28 minus 24. That is 4 degrees Celsius. And the last one Jaisalmer. 38 minus 25. That is 13 degrees Celsius. Now, what is the question asked? Which city shows little change? Very little change. So, on these two days, which day, which city is showing little change? That is very less changes for four, and that is for Bangalore. So, your answer will be Bangalore shows little change in temperature on the two days. Now, next, try yourself. On any one day, choose any three cities and record their temperature from the TV or newspaper. So, what you have to do? This is an activity for you all. On any one day, you can take any one day and choose the three cities, any three cities, and record their temperature. Either you can go to with the newspaper or watch the TV and you note it down. Now, next, make a bar chart. What chart is this called? Bar chart. In our last part, what we studied? Pie chart. That is chapati chart. And this is bar chart. Why this is called bar chart? Because we are placing in bars like this. It can be vertical also or horizontal also. Okay. If I take the places here and Celsius in this side, then you will get the chart in this way. So like this, you have to make the bar chart. So how you will make? Similarly, like this, take four cities. On that day, what is the temperature? You note down, and then you make this bar. For this is 33, so till 33 you'll mark. This you can do in graph, or you can do in boxes. Your old Max notebook and all, you can do this. Rabbits in Australia, page number 166. Earlier, there were no rabbits in Australia. Rabbits were brought to Australia around the year 1780. So, children, what is given here? That before there were no rabbits at all in Australia, I think. So they brought rabbits to Australia around in the year somewhat in 1718. At that time, there were no animals in Australia which ate rabbits. So the rabbits began to multiply at a very fast rate. Imagine what they did to the crops. So what happened? I think so they brought the uh, rabbits to Australia, and in the life chain, one animal eats the other animals and so on. But 
uh, there were no animals that time which ate rabbit chicken. So what happens? The growth will increase. Rabbits began to multiply means the growth of rabbits became increased. The population of rabbit became more. Imagine what they did to the crops. So what does rabbit eat? All this carrots, radishes and all. So what will it do to the crops still? It will spoil the crops. So see the table which is given starting it was 10. Next year, first year it became 18 and the next year 32 and the next year 58. Like this it started to increase. Few questions have been given on this. Let's see what are they. After each year the number of rabbits was they have given few options. A little less than the double the number of the rabbits last year. So they are saying a little less than the double the number of rabbits last year. Means first year if we are taking it should be little less than double of 10. Next second year if we are taking it should be little less than double of the 18. Last year we have to compare with the last year. Double of the last year. Double means you have to, if 2 is there, double of 2 is 4, like that. Next, double the number in the last year. Double, it's exactly double or 8 more than the number in the last year. They are always comparing with the last year. That is for first year when we are seeing, they are comparing with the starting year. Second year if we are seeing, we have to compare with the first year. And only more than double the number of rabbits in the last year. So in this option, so everything is speaking about double, double, double. So one option is not speaking about double. First we will deal with that. Okay children. So what is given here? 8 more. More means, 8 more means you have to add 8 than the number in the last year. So if you add 8 to the previous year, you should get the next number. So if you add 10 uh, to 10, 8. Yes, you are getting 18. That's right. Next, for 18, if you add 8, will you get 32? No, how much you will get? 18 plus 8 is 26. So, this option is wrong. So, no. So, that option is wrong. So, we'll put a wrong for that. And next, there we are speaking about double. So, first let double the number of rabbits and see. 10 plus 10, 20. 18 plus 18, 36. 32 plus 32, 62. 64, sorry. 58 plus 58, 116. Now what they have said in this option, in the option P, double the number in the last year. Is it exactly double? If it double, first year it should be 20. Second year it should be 36. So that option is also wrong. Now left out is two options. That is whether it is little less or little more than the rabbits in the last year. So let's see that. In the first year it was 10. So double of that is 20. So, we got in the first year how much it is given? 18. So, 18 is less than 20 or more than 20? Little less than 20. Now, go to the next year also. Check with the next year also. 32. Yes or no? So, 32 is little less than. So, which option is right? A option is right and D option is wrong. Okay, children? Next. At the end of the year 6, <coughs> the number of rabbits was close to 400, 600 or 800. Now they are asking at the end of year 6. So how we will continue? First you have to double that and it should be less than double of this. So double of 105 is 100 plus 100, 200, 5 plus 5, 10. So 210. So it should be less than 210. In 6th year it should be less than double of 210. Double of 210 means 420. So how much it will be close to 400. Now, next question. After which year did the number of rabbits cross 1000? So, we have to go and check till where we will get the 1000. In the next year, it should be less than double of 420. Double of 420 is 840. And the next year, double of 840 is less than 1680. So, we cross 1000? Yes. So, which year it is? After 6 years, 7th year, 8th year. So, in 8th year and they are asking which year exactly they are asking. So, what is the starting year which was given? 1780. So, the next year will be 1781, 82. Like that you will go and count. So, 8th year will be 1788. So, answer is in the year 1788, the number of rabbits crossed 1000. <coughs> Family tree, page number 167. Mother went to a wedding along with his parents. He met many relatives there, but he did not know everyone. He met his mother's grandfather but found that mother's grandmother is not alive. He also found that her dadi's mother, that is grandmother's mother, is still alive, 
and is more than 100 years old. The children, listening to all this, what happens? You will get confused. What is this? Dadi's mother's mother, mother's mother, mother's grandfather and all this you will get confused. Similarly, Madhav also got confused. So, for that, what did his mother did? She made a family tree for him. Okay. So, this is the family tree which she made for Madhav. On this few questions have been given. Let's see what are the questions. Madhav's mother helped him understand her family with the help of the drawing. You can also find out about your older generations using such family tree. Now answer the questions. The first question is how many grandparents in all does Shobna have? Now what they are asking? How many grandparents does Shobna have? So first understand this family tree. Ma. In first generation, Madhav is given. And next generation, Madhav's mother and father. And from there what they did? Ma, uh, Madhav's mother's name is Shobna. She is having father and mother. Again this father is having mother and father, mother and father. Again this mother. In this way they have increased the generations. Okay. So one thing what you can understand here is first mother and father two were there and then multiply with that you will get one two three four two two is a four again four multiplied by two one two three four five six seven eight so every generation to know how many are increasing what we do the generation multiplied by two number of people in that generation multiplied by two you will get the people in the next generation okay now let's go to the question. The first question is given as how many grandparents in all Shobhana have? So who is Shobhana? This is Shobhana. So grandparents means parents, parents are grandparents. So these are Shobhana's mother and father. So their parents will be Shobhana's grandparents. So how many grandparents are there? One, two, three and four. So how many grandparents are there? What you will write? Shobhana has four grandparents. Now the next question, how many great great grandparents in all does mother have? So what is the question given? Great great grandparents about mother. Who is mother here? This is mother. These are mother's parents. These are mother's grandparents. And these are mother's great great grandparents. Yes or no? Great great grandparents. So, how many are there? Totally great great grandparents. These are great grandparents. Always see this. These are parents. Okay. These are parents. These are grandparents. These are great grandparents. And these are great great grandparents. So, how many you got? Eight you got. Hmm. So, what is the answer you will write? Mother has eight great great grandparents in hall. How many elders will be there in 7th generation of his family? Just now I told you to get the next generation what you will do? The before generation multiplied by 2 you will get the next generation. So 6th generation we saw that 5th generation we saw 8. So 6th generation will be 8 into 2 16. So 7th generation will be 16 into 2 32. So 32 elders will be in 7th generation of his family. Next question. If he takes his family tree forward, in which generation will he find 128 elders? Now he is asking 128 members. That is 128 elders will be there in which generation? Just now we saw 7th generation 32. From there we will start. Okay, 7th generation 32. So 8th generation how you will get? 32 multiplied by 2. That is 64. Next, 9th generation, 64 multiplied by 2, 128. So, we got the answer? Yes. Thus, in the 9th generation, number of elders in mother's family will be 128. Okay, children? Now, growth chart of a plant, page number 168 to 169. Amit sowed a few seeds of moong dal in the ground. The height of the plant grew to 1.4 centimeters in the first four days. After that, it started to growing faster. So, you all sow seeds. Yes or no? When you sow seeds, what happens? Small seedlings, that is plants start coming and then it will grow. Similarly, Amit sowed few moong dal seeds and he was seeing the growth of the plant itself. Amit measured the height of the plant after every four days. For every four days, he started measuring it and put a dot on the chart. Then he took a chart 
and every four days you start and measuring it and put a dot. For example, if you look at the dot marked on the fourth day, that is see that uh, which is the fourth day, this is the fourth day. The dot marked on the fourth day, you can see the left scale that it is 1.4 centimeters high. So, when you keep a scale, the left scale, how much it is? 1.4 centimeters high. Now look at the height of each dot in centimeter and check from the table if he has marked the dots correctly. So for that I will zoom it out for you. Okay. So now the first day the height is 0 and the next day that is 4 day because for every 4 days he is saying it is 1.4. So now see here and somewhat less than 1.5 so that is 1.4. So is it right? Yes. Next 8th day 5.3. 3 that is right yes next 12th day it is 9.5 9.5 you can keep a scale and you can measure it easily ma next 16th day 10.2 yes that's also right next 20th day 10.9 that is also right now let's see the questions given for that find out from the growth chart between which days did the length of the plant change the more? That is 0 to 4 days, 4 to 8, 8 to 12, 12 to 16 or 16 to 20. So what they are asking here between which days that is whether from 0 to 4 or 4 to 8 or 8 to 12 the length of the plant changed the most. So for that what we have to do ma we have to subtract 1.4 minus 0. First we will subtract that 1.4 minus 0 is 1.4. The change in the height is 1.4. Next change from 4th to 8th day how we will get 5.3 minus uh, 1.4. So that is 3.9. Similarly next one 5.9.5 uh, minus 5.3 that is 4.2. And the next one 10.2 minus 9.5 that is 0.7. The next one 10.9 minus 10.2 that is also 0 0.7. So between which day is the length more see where the change is more here it is more that is between 5.3 and 9.5 that is which day it is 8th to 12th day. So which is the answer it is more between 8 to 12 days. Next question what could be the length of this plant on the 14th day. Now what they are asking what could be the length of this plant on the 14th day. So 14th day lies here yes or no between because 14th day lies between 12th day and 16th day. So 14th day lies between here. So what you can understand by that. So it should be greater than 9.5 because height will increase or decrease. It will increase. So it should be greater than 9.5 but less than 10.2. Yes or no? So the height will be somewhere between 9.6 to 10.1. Uh, so what are the options given for you? 8.7. So will the 8.7 be right? No because it is less than 9.5. Will the height reduce? No that is wrong. And then next one, one, one more is given as 10.2. It should be less than 10.2. So this is also wrong. Next 10.5 is more. So will it go more than 10.2? No. So that is also wrong. So which is the answer? Our guess is 9.9. .9. Now next. Will the plant keep growing all the time? At some time it will stop. Yes or no? It will keep growing and sometime it will stop. What will be its length on 100th day? Make a guess. Now they are asking us to make a guess what will be the length on the 100th day. So no, we don't think that it will keep on growing. After it attains some height, that growth will stop. And what will be its length on 100th day? So it will be some approximately 17 to 18 centimeters children. Okay children, I hope you understood all this. By this we have completed with our chapter smart chart. In the two parts we have completed this part 1 and part 2. Okay children, have a nice day. Thank you. We will meet with the next chapter.